Hello dear students, this is grade 11 mathematics lesson on unit 11, which is mathematical application in business. And this chapter is designed for social science students only. So let's continue. In this lesson, uh, we focus on basic mathematical concepts in business. So after revising this lesson, you are expected to calculate ratio, rates, markup, discount, compound interest. So let's continue to the lesson. First, ratio. Simply, ratio is this a comparison of two or more quantities expressed in the same unit, expressed in the same unit of measurement. Now, let's see example for this one. In a class, there are 25 students out of these 10 are boys. So, what is the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls? This one is simple. We have the number of boys, the number of boys are 10. And the number of girls, since the total number of students is 25, the number of girls is this. 25 minus 10 is 15. Therefore, the ratio of boys to girls is 10 ratio 15. When we write ratio, we have to simplify. So, simplifying this, you'll have this one. 10 over 15. When you simplify this, you'll have 2 over 3 or 2 ratio 3. So, the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls is 2 ratio 3. Next, what is the ratio of the number of girls to the total number of students? The number of girls is 15, and the total number of students is 25. So the ratio is 15 over 25. So you'll have this one, 15 over 25. Uh, simplifying this or writing into lowest term, you'll have 3 over 5 by 5, 3 by 5, 5. Therefore, it will be 3 ratio 5. Now, let's see another example. Bill 1500 was divided between two persons, Aster and Ali, in the ratio of two ratio three, respectively. So calculate the share of each. Uh, to do this, Aster shares two parts of out of the total is five, two ratio three, two fives. Aster will share two-fifths of the total amount of money and Ali shares three-fifths of the total amount of money. Therefore, you will have this one. Aster share is this two out of the total this five. Two-fifths of 1,500 bill. When you multiply this, you get 600. Therefore, Aster's share is this bill 600. Similarly, Ali's share is this. Ali's share is 3 out of 5 or 3 fifths. 3 fifths of 1,500. So 3 fifths of 1,500 gives you bir 900. Therefore, Ali's share is this bir 900. Now, the next one is rate. Rate is a comparison of two or more quantities expressed in different units of measurement. And the rate of change of a given quantity is given by, rate of change is given by final amount minus initial or original amount divided by original amount. This is the rate of change. So let's see example for this. Sales of a company decreases from 2 million per 2, 1.5 million this month, then calculate the rate of change of the sales of the company. So to find the rate of change, the final amount from 2 million to 1.5, final amount is 1.5. So you put 1.5 on the final amount minus the original amount is 2. So you will have this one. 1.5 million minus 2 million divided by the original is 2 million 
So million cancel. So simply take this one. 1.5 minus 2 divided by 2, you get negative 0 0.25. This negative indicates you the rate of change is it is decreasing. The rate of change is decreasing. Okay. Now let's see percentage. Percentage is, is the part of a base which is obtained by multiplying the base by rate. Uh, to explain this, for example, if you have this one, 4% when you calculate 4% of 4% of 100, you get 4% of 100, you get 4, 4% 4 times 100, it gives you 4. So in this case, we call this one is the rate, the percent, the number expressing the rate, and the whole amount is to the base, and a part of the base is it is percentage. Therefore, here, percentage is the part of the base which is obtained by multiplying the base uh, by rate. So, percentage is given by base times rate. Now, let's see example. Calculate 3% of 16. So, this is the rate, this is the base. You are asked to calculate the percentage. So, simply, you multiply the 2. Therefore, you have this 1. 3% means this, 3 over 100 times 60, you get 1.8. Therefore, 3% of 60 is this, 1.8. Next, B. What percent of 250 is 50? In this case, 250 is the whole part is a base, and 50 it is percentage. We are asked to find the rate. So, to calculate the rate, simply you divide the percentage by base. Percentage divided by base. Since the rate must be expressed in percent, you multiply it by 100%. So, you will have this one. The rate will be this percentage over base times 100%. When you simplify this, you get 20%. Let's see another part, commercial discount. If P is the original price of an item and R is a discount rate, then the amount of discount is given by simply multiplying the original price with discount rate. And uh, the amount of discount sale, the discount sale will be uh, the original price minus the amount of discount, which is P times R. So let's see example for this. A will suit discounted by 30% for a clearance sale and has a price tag, that's the discounted price, a price tag of 399 bar. So what was the suit's original price and what is the amount of discount? So here, the discounted sale price is given here and the discount rate is given. First, we are asked to find the original price. So, using this equation, you will have this one. Let's assume the original price to be P and the discounted sale price is equal to P minus the original price. That means P minus P times R. That's the discount. So, from this, the discount sale price tag is given. It's 399. 399 is equal to P minus R is given, it is 30%. 30% 30 means 0 0.3. So, you will have 0 0.3 times P. So, this implies P minus 0 0.3P is 0 0.7P. 0 0.7P is equal to 399. 0 0.7P gives you 399. Therefore, dividing by 0 0.7, you will have this one. 399 over 0 0.7. So, when you divide this, you will have 570 bur. This is it is the original price of uh, this uh, woolen suit. Okay.
In addition to this, we are asked to find the amount of discount. The amount of discount is given by multiplying the original price with discount rate. So discount is equal to original price times discount rate. So discount is equal to the original price. We have found the original price to be this 570 times the discount rate is 0 0.3. When you multiply these two, you get 171. Okay, now let's see this one. Markup. Markup is the difference between a product's selling price and it is cost price. The difference between selling price and cost price gives you markup. So we can calculate markup percent uh, with respect to selling price and with respect to cost. If you are asked to calculate markup percent with respect to selling price, simply you divide the markup with selling price and you multiply it by 100% to convert into percent. In addition to this, if I ask to calculate markup percent with respect to cost, simply you divide the markup with cost and you multiply it by 100%. Okay, now let's see example for this. If you buy a golden ring for 498 bir and sell it for 750, find the markup percent with respect to selling price, says here. So let's see the solution. Markup percent with respect to selling price is given by markup divided by selling price times 100 percent. Therefore, this is equal to markup is a difference between selling price and Cost price, the selling price is 750 is given here, and the cost is 498. So 750 minus 498 divided by the selling price, it is 750 times 100%. So this is equal to it is 33.6%. This is this uh, markup percent with respect to selling price. Now let's see simple and compound interest simple and compound interest a fee paid for the use of money is called interest for example when you put money in a bank a bank uses your money so and it pays you interest for the use of money so a fee paid for the use of money we call it interest a capital originally invested is called principal and the sum of the principal and interest we call this accumulated value or amount or the future value. The interest computed on the original principal during the whole period of the loan is called simple interest. Simple interest is the interest which is uh, paid only on the original principal. And this simple interest is given by this e equation. Simple interest is equal to PRT, where P is the principal and R is the rate and T is the time length in which the loan is given. Okay, and the future value of simple interest is given by, to find the future value, that means the amount, the amount will be equal to the money originally you put, which is equal to P plus the interest, which is equal to this PRT. Therefore, the amount will be this P plus PRT. Now, let's see example for this. If Burr 2,500 is invested with simple interest rate of 2% per month. The simple interest is given 2% per month and find the amount of the interest and the future value at the end of the four months. So here, be careful, the interest rate is it's per month and the time is in months, so no need of conversion, they are in the same unit. So here, principal is given, it is 2,500, 
and the rate is 2%, it is 0 0.02 per month. It is per month, and the time is this 4 months. So using the formula, we can find the simple interest. It is equal to I is equal to P, 2,500. No need of converting this because the interest rate is in months, the time is in months, so you can take as it is. So 0 0.02 times 4. So you will have this result. So the interest will be this 200 bear. So the amount is this, the money originally you invested plus the interest. Therefore, the money originally you invested is this 2,500 and the interest is 200. Adding these two, you get 2,700 bear. This is the amount. Next, compound interest. This is the interest paid on original principal, not only the original principal, the interest paid on original principal plus previous period's interest. We call this this compound interest. In the case of compound interest, the interest is calculated not only on the original principal. It will be calculated on the original principal plus the interest on the previous period. So uh, we use this formula to calculate the amount of compound interest or the future value of compound interest. It is given by amount is equal to the original money invested principal into 1 plus r over m, the power of mt, where, where a is the accumulated amount of this compound interest and p is principal. R is the interest rate per year, or is this annual interest rate, and T is the time in year, it must be in year, and M is the number of conversion periods per year, the number of conversion periods per year. For example, for example, annually means once in a year, so the number of conversions will be this one for annually. And Semi-annual means twice in a year, so uh, the number of conversion period will be this, 2, it's m is equals to 2. And quarterly means four times in a year, so the number of conversion periods will be m is equals to 4. And monthly means 12 times in a year, therefore uh, the conversion period will be m is equals to 12. Now let's see example for this. Here, if Bear 100 is deposited in a commercial bank of Ethiopia with interest rate of 10% per year and find the amount and interest after two years if it is compounded semi-annually. So, let's see the solution. The principal is given this 100. And the interest rate is, it is given this 10% per year. 10% means this 0 0.1. And T is also given it is the money is deposited for two years. So T is this two year. And it is compounded semi annually. So semi annually is twice in a year. So the conversion factor period is this M is this two. And here we are asked to find the amount and the interest. So first, let's calculate the amount using the formula. This amount is equal to P into 1 plus R over M, the power of MT. So putting the numbers, P is 100, 1 plus R is 0 0.1 divided by M is 2, 2 times T is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. You'll have this. So using uh, calculator, you can find the solution for this to be 131.55. So this is amount, this is amount. And the interest will be, we have the total amount at the end of second year to be this one. The money originally invested is, it is 100. So the difference gives you the interest you earn. Therefore, therefore, here the interest will be this amount minus principal. 
So the amount is this 121.55 minus the principal is 100. Subtracting these two, you get 21.5. So this is the answer. This is the interest. So to summarize what we have seen today, rate of change means it is final amount minus original amount divided by original amount. And discount is given by the product of uh, P times R, original price times discount rate. And discount sale price will be this, the original price minus the discount amount, that is P times R. And markup percent, to calculate markup percent, based on selling price or with respect to selling price given by markup over selling price times 100%. And simple interest is calculated by I is equal to PRT, where I is in simple interest, P is principal, R is interest rate, and T is time. Future value of a compound interest is given by this formula. Amount is equal to the principal into 1 plus R over M, the power of MT, where P is the principal, R is the interest rate, M is the conversion period, and T is time. So I'll give you exercise uh, for you, exercise 11.3 and exercise 11.4 on page 436 and 438 respectively. This is all about today's lesson. Until next lecture class, goodbye.